everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the 31st episode of Smile Precure. Last episode we got to go around the world basically with the, with the, with the main benefit of having a magical area, book, place. I can just kind of just kind of do that, just teleport wherever. You get to have a nice trip everywhere pretty much with uh, little to no cost, so can't really argue with that. But yeah, much, much fun was had, so we are for episode 31 though, so let's see how that goes. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button and support me on Patreon for early access and access to the fiction picture version. So let us begin in three, two, one, play. Candy dreaming, maybe. I think they wanted to wake up. I think, I think you've all been there. Oh, oh, we're... Did we wake up to a problem? Yeah, I think we uh, woke up to something bad. Okay, actually, actually resume the YouTube video. You know, for the life of me, find the right tab. So I just had to mute Firefox, but it's, oh, I'll survive. But uh, yeah, Precure. It looks like we have a bit of a problem. Smile, 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 smile. Bum, bum. <laughs> this POV from Candy, it's, it's weird. Oh yeah, we got a new toy last time, didn't we? <laughs> Maybe it wasn't from McKinney's perspective, maybe it was from that thing's perspective. I wouldn't I wouldn't dare think such a thing. You're a jerk that's gotta get in our way. Candy's secret. What's Candy's secret? Is she actually a vegetable? Okay, doesn't tell me much. She doesn't know, does she? Ah, oh, Candy. Candy, what? She's hungry. Kudu. Are we gonna bribe her? <laughs> What about everyone else? It's not a lot for all of us. <laughs> I guess we'll make it work though. <laughs> but I wanted all of it. You're small, could have. <laughs> she looks so just discontented with this result. Like better than nothing, could have. <laughs> Did it? But is it worth it though? It's still a small piece. <laughs> so even if it tastes better, is it really worth it? You know, quality over quantity and all that.
Oh, of course it's a flying book. I don't I don't know what I was like. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> oh, need Chani Moto dive. Gotta love it. A black ball? Is that another nose for the the icon bis? They would have the animation budget. Unwieldy. Hyper Akanbis. This is this actually sounded quite scary. You say that, but what have you actually accomplished? Matching cards. Looking okay, very clear threat there. He even used props to demonstrate it. I guess Wolf Boy gets his turn. But I'm a little bit worried about that uh, black ball. Royal Cluck. <laughs> Are they somebody with answers? It's a power boost. Gotcha. <laughs> Unlike candy. Okay. I, I'm not sure that's the way to do it. But what do I know? Uh, oh, there's numbers. Okay, that is actually quite a nice clock. Okay. Okay, then. He definitely is doing that. We're probably going to need that power boost. Because we may have to fight against a black nose today. Speaking of clocks, yeah, I was ticking too. Yeah, well, we'll chat later, Queen. We gotta go. <laughs> Does the clock really fly? It took me a second. Because why not? Candy right in that royal cock clock. <laughs> You get better than the red ones. You thought Super Akambe was good. Check out this Hyper Akambe. Like freaking Pokemon naming scheme. Potion, Super Potion, Hyper Potion, you know. Ooh. Got a tattoo. Yeah, this is, uh, this is, this is concerning. Bum, 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 Let's go. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, 
die. I lost it. We didn't get the clap in. I, I like I like the clap in. I like yeah, you always clap in. Um. Let's see what that dirty black nose can do against us. A little bit too hyper, man. Settle down a bit. Take a chill pill. Oof. Yeah, definitely seems kind of dangerous. Oh, we need that, uh, we need that further power now. Oh, maybe we shouldn't be saying such things in, uh, earshot of the bad guys. This is very not good. We really need to keep a better eye on candy in general. Yo, say Chan, her name is Candy. <sighs> I won't. Yeah, but it's not about the end, is it? No. Kinda felt like it, but just halfway mark. But things are not looking good right now. Up against a more powerful Akanbe, a hyper Akanbe. Candy's in a ball. Like, gotta get her out of there probably before he can win. And I still play ground. <laughs> Rather fairies. That one's cute. Oh no, she Pluto. We got a Maru. How can a word that doesn't really mean anything in this context? She can say it with such emotion sometimes. Because you can't say Kudo doesn't mean anything. It does mean something, just not the way she uses it most of the time. She looks so happy, but like, no, you gotta come back to us, Candy. The way her hair just like rolls out. Sloth ball. Can I be in a sloth ball? I'll, I'll take Candy's place. I'm willing to sacrifice myself for the greater good. I mean, I don't, I mean, I, I don't have an answer for that. We're all kind of sucks. That face. Should tell that to all the trust fund babies out there. Candy, Candy won't lose to you, or your balls. Ooh. 
Where I'll clog over sloth balls any day. Can she sense them? Get out the swing, man. Gotta break it. Put it sit on it, not stand on it. Oh, you do, but what do you do there? What do you do? I'm pretty sure it doesn't mean anything. I think Pudu doesn't mean anything either. It's not that I'm aware of. I know Madu is like a circle. Ride that bag of this girls. Shoo 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 shoo. But I think they said this wasn't gonna work, so I'm not expecting much. But you gotta try, right? <laughs> that won't work on my black nose. What a line. Oof. Man, that looked kinda painful. Like you see, like the back kind of bent and unimpact, just. Ugh. Smell a burnt precure. There might be a witch there. She may or may not want to cook you. Actually, maybe this is Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Uh, we're, going, we're going back to the lesson from the beginning. But it tastes better to eat together. You know, with my friends who I miss, you know, I want to go back to. Because as we established, it's better to eat it a little bit with friends than to have a bunch to yourself. That's how you truly become ultra happy. <laughs> there you go. Is that, I guess that's, is that the candy seeker from the title? Here we go. I'm sure this will get old eventually. By the time it does, it's probably too late. All our friends will be dead. Okay, you guys are starting to look kind of creepy. She told you. Now shatter that illusion. Shatter his sloth ball. Can't hear the real ball buster. I don't think that's true. Although they're probably pretty banged up. Yeah. I think this is kind of what we started with the ep started the episode with, right? To see they're still alive. Now we can get our power boost, please, Candy. Could you could you help us out with that? We could really use it. You know, before she dies completely. Like I'm sure she's just unconscious, but Eva don't need John. While you were in that ball living it up, you were facing reality. You don't know that. <laughs> it actually goes super sad. <laughs> Daisuke Kudu. I was joking, but it really does almost seem like she's going Super Saiyan, like legit. <laughs> like, you can't tell me I'm wrong. But like, what is like a phoenix that she's basically like summoning? <laughs> now that's power. Candy power.
Ooh, the missing piece. Now check out my royal clock. How big and throbbing and bright it is. Uh, it wasn't a black nose at all. It was a red nose uh, painted black. You can get canceled for that sort of thing. <laughs> oh man. Miyuki. I love her bat. I don't even know what to call that, but... It's iconic with her character, though. Get wrecked. It's a harder and stronger. I mean, once you go black, you never go back, so... Might not be okay anymore. Yeah, this definitely feels like, you know, early episode stuff. A dead precure is waking up candy. <laughs> Nakama. <laughs> candy, I'm just glad to have you back. We can never lose you. Go away, we were having a nice moment. Damn it. Hold on the candy tight. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, come on. Just took four to five free cures in one, with one ball. We just got candy back. Ugh. Well, we get them back, then Miyuki gets captured afterwards. I... And I lost a Yayoi and Rock, Paper, Scissors to make matters worse. Power for jump just all the English kind of words. I mean, not a word that are based just English words saying in a Japanese accent, as he did. But okay, that uh, that was the. 31st, right? 31st episode of Smile Precure. I do kind of want to go back to the very beginning of the episode real quick to see how much we really saw. Because obviously we're showcasing kind of foreshadowing future stuff, but because we saw Candy laying down in a very like fantasy... What's the best word? What's the word for it? Uh, just not normal environment. I'm going to go with that, but... But yeah, she like she wakes up. She sees her precures all down, but they're kind of like stylized with uh, exaggerated colors for each of their respective color schemes. But so it obviously doesn't look quite the same as it did later on. Probably to have that let that level of ambiguity to it. But very much meant to reflect the future stuff for sure. Because we had that, and then we had the wake up scene. Was the wake up scene after the opening? I could have swore we had a. 
Or is that the very first thing? Yeah. Yeah, they just kind of combine them, I guess. I don't know. It's not going to worry about it too much. But anyway, we eventually just kind of went back to earlier. Still talking about the royal clock, which definitely pretty important. <laughs> like, um, not as important as learning the, the the importance of sharing <laughs> amongst friends. Because, yeah, that was pretty important. Kanye wanted a, a bunch of the snack, but Miyuki's like, no, you got to share the snack. It'll taste better. <laughs> and it just has a great... I just love the look on Candy's face as she looks at the little peach that she has, like... I can't believe this is BS. Like, I, I deserve more than this. this. This is basically nothing. Like, I could sniff it and just to be gone, right? This is basically nothing, but I guess it's technically something. I, I, I just, I'll eat it, whatever, well, whatever. But, you know, she, she enjoyed it, you know? No matter, no matter how discontent she looked, she did enjoy it in the end and learned a valuable lesson that would eventually save her later on in the episode. So, that, that all worked out. So, while they're trying to figure the royal clock out, bad guys had, had discovered painting the, the red nose black to make them better. You know, that's that's what they did. So, uh, definitely a little bit difficult. So, basically, like, they added just a special coating to protect them from specific attacks, but nothing we couldn't get past in the end. It's a little touch and go, though. Candy getting captured in the ball, go to happy La La Land, but those weren't real friends. That wasn't a real place. And, you know, she, she, she was able to get out in the end, but... But uh, yeah, the theme there definitely is that no matter how hard life, how hard life gets, running away from it in, in any form is not the answer, right? So, I mean, j just kind of the theme of the season in general is kind of like dealing with the, 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 the negatives, the hardships of life, and just smiling through it, you know, just finding happiness where you can and, you know, working through the hard things with your friends, which hopefully you have, you know, break your shows you have friends at least, but... So yeah, just definitely showcasing some of that this episode, that overall theme, but but yeah, just just the thing just keep getting worse and worse. Like we got Candy out for a second, she helped out, we took down the the black Akanbe, but then four out of five precures get captured. Like I want to know how how exactly do those balls work? That's one thing I'm kind of curious about. Because if you can capture four precures, why didn't he just capture that, that everyone? <laughs> like, what's the limit on one of the balls? Does it just does it happen to be four? Really? But I don't think it would have that kind of limit, because it would probably be a size sort of thing. Because if you could capture four humans, you could probably capture eight or ten, you know, little mascot characters, little fairies, right? So, you know, like, what's the capacity on the ball? What are the, what are the limitations? I want, like you know, stats lower on this stuff, but Precure shows that you usually don't give you that sort of thing. You just kind of have to roll with it because it is kind of a kid's show sort of thing. You know, you just kind of accept four of them got captured, the rest didn't. Just how it is, you know. It's kind of how things are usually. And I, I can deal with that, but I, I just kind of wish I, I got more concrete answers on some things, but I'll live. But it sucks though, like, they're all captured. We're pretty much up to Miyuki and Kande and Onichan. <laughs> To, uh, to, to, to save them, I guess, so things are not over yet. Things are not over yet, but nothing we can't handle, I'm sure, so so yeah, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.